Welcome to part 11 of this series where I talk about a specific family line of mine, let you know what I know, what I don't know, and how I got to the conclusions that I did. And now we're really getting into the thick of things because I'm going to be talking about a line that I've actually done a video on before, my Dezent family. Now, my second great-grandfather, Abraham Aronofsky, married Hannah or Anna Dezent, and she came to the United States in 1896 she sailed over in steerage, which is essentially the cheapest section of the boat. And what it would be would be a lot of really poor immigrants, all kind of crammed into this little area next to a lot of machinery. And that's how she came over to America. Now, over the years, I've learned a huge amount about this family, including tracing a lot of her siblings, who I'm going to touch upon in this episode. I'm Yona Paley, and I believe genealogy is fun. Today, we're going to be talking about the family of my great-great-grandmother, Hannah Dezent, from Yonava, Lithuania. Figuring out the exact last name was a little bit difficult because it was spelled a number of different ways with an S, with a Z, with two S's, and eventually I figured out that the last name was Dezent, and that my great-great-grandmother had a sister named Fanny Orfega living in New York City as well, and she actually lived with her very briefly. So I knew of this one sister, and then after doing some more research, I started getting into DNA and I found another sister, Esther, from a DNA match from one of her descendants who had matched with my great aunt. One of the most important documents I've ever found for this family is an 1887 census from the city of Yonava, Lithuania, and it shows all the siblings living with each other with the parents, David Dezent and Reza Kapul, and I managed to trace the trajectory of most of these siblings. So the two brothers, Abraham and Nissan, were sadly murdered in the Holocaust, but they actually both have living descendants in the United States and Israel. And then I found out that the youngest daughter, Hasa, died very young, and that there was another daughter named Doba, or Dobra, and it's uncertain what exactly happened to her. She either died young, but there may be some indication that she came to the United States I was able to find a ship manifest, but I couldn't find anything more than that, and it didn't exactly prove that it was the same person, but she was named Doba Dezent, born around the same time frame. But that one has been kind of a dead end. The final sister, Shayna, was a huge mystery for a long time. Before less than a year ago, I ended up getting another DNA match on Ancestry.com. And this was of a descendant of Shayna, who had moved to Scotland. And I managed to get in touch with her family. Through doing this, I realized that I had gathered together descendants of pretty much all of the lions who had survived, with the exception of Dobra. And this means that this family is probably one of my most well-researched lions. I have created a big document with all of the living descendants that I could find, which is quite a bit from all of these siblings. And I have been in contact with people from pretty much all of them. It just goes to show you, you should really get your DNA data on as many websites as possible. Always keep digging through records because in this instance, I basically figured this family out over a long period of time. And there were branches that I thought I'd never learn anything about until that DNA match suddenly popped up, just completely out of the blue. And if I hadn't done all this research beforehand, I would have had no idea how I was related to this person. Now, the father was named David Dezent, and he appears to have been a Hebrew teacher. He died in 1904, and pretty much all of his kids named a child after him. 
And on the census, it does say that his father's name is Shalomo. But this is where I am brick walled on the family. I did a very deep dive looking for people with the last name Dezent living in Yonava. And what I found was there were a handful of them, all descended from people with the names like Mendel, and there were some other names, but nobody with the name of Shlomo. Yet they all seemed to come from the same city, which was Zemai, or Zemai, which is a small village located around 15 kilometers from Yonava. So I'm pretty sure that this is where David, son of Shlomo, came from originally. But sadly, there just aren't enough records from Zemai in order to figure out how, if at all, my family connects to the rest of the family. So I'm, I think that there's probably just one missing link somewhere, uh, but I don't know if that exists or if it will be released at some point in the future. So for now, I'm pretty much in a situation where I've got this one branch that I've mostly solved, but I just don't know how they connect to the larger Dezent family as a whole. In the next two of these, I'll be talking about Hannah Dezent's mother and grandmother, who had the surname Kapul and Rosenblatt. And these are my two most distant lines. So these are gonna be lines that go way back into the 1700s. And these ones I've got really old records from, so it's a little bit exciting and there's some DNA mixed in there as well. So the descent line is not actually where this section of Lithuanian ancestors ends. I've got some ancestors of them on their maternal sides. So get excited for that. This is just the beginning. We're 11 parts into this series, but there's still a lot left to go. So thank you very much for watching this episode. If you have any comments or story about finding a distant cousin that you never thought you would find using DNA, feel free to comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear your story because I think pretty much everybody has some sort of story like this. And that wraps up our episode. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, I'm looking forward to bringing you more videos as well as tips and tricks that you can use in your own genealogy research. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll get you next time.